uh, supposed to give uh, a tribute to in honor of uh, my mother, Amashei. Uh, it's still uh, very uh, hard for me. The relationship that I shared with my mother uh, is like uh, no other one. I spoke to her on Monday, immediately after the Akura uh, elections, the Ondo State elections. And I said, uh, Mommy, I will see you over the weekend. And I left for Podakot on Wednesday morning. And throughout Wednesday, she was uh, calling me. And uh, I was saying to myself, Look, even if I pick this call, I won't. Uh, since uh, 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 we're out of uh, town, it wouldn't make any sense because I kind of guess why she was calling me. Uh, she wanted me to stop by and see her. And uh, so I didn't pick the call. By Thursday morning, they came to wake me up and said, they were knocking on my mom's door and she wouldn't answer. And uh, maybe 15, 20 minutes later, they forced the door open and they met her, she was gone. I I can only say that uh, it's hard to question God. I thought uh, before we we'll start talking about Mama even going, she'll have been 85. But that did not uh, happen. Yeah, my mom, uh, she's uh, a tough woman. She came to Ibadan with nothing, according to her. She was just looking for a green pastor. And Ibadan then happened to be the capital of the western region. So she came, just like anyone will go uh, anywhere. And she met my father. I think she came when she was like 18. One year later, she was pregnant and she had uh, my eldest uh, brother. So she had him at uh, 19 plus. So I started thinking to myself that uh, this woman started uh, early. She knew uh, that uh, she won't go to any more school. She will only have all of these children, take care of them, and then uh, uh, they uh, probably will be her own degree. So, she started working as an interpreter at a UCH and later as a telephone operator. And uh, what she won't take from you is a uh, for you not to take your education or study seriously. 
Because according to her, it will be double jeopardy if she she refused to go to school because she was having us. And then we that uh, she had, we also refused to go to school. Who is going to save who? When the uh, Venerable from Yemetu was talking, he said, uh, St. Paul's Yemetu, uh, uh, that's uh, Mama's uh, church. Well, yes. But the only reason, our family church uh, uh, is uh, Arimo. And then my father went to, because he went to school at uh, Christ Church Mako. So he started attending uh, Christ Church Mako. And we were living uh, just by uh, the gate of uh, Adeoyo uh, Hospital. And my father had uh, only uh, an Okada. And she said, well, I won't ride Okada with your father to Mako. So I'll be going, I'll be walking to St. Paul's uh, Yemetu. That was how Mama became uh, uh, the member at uh, St. Paul's uh, Yemetu. Well, it uh, was uh, an experience for me to have shared 53 years of my life well, 52 plus with uh, my mother. I forever cherish that relationship. I'll leave uh, most of the things that I want to say about her until tomorrow at uh, uh, the funeral service itself. But for tonight, I only uh, end by singing a song that uh, each time I receive beatings from her when I was growing up, once I start crying, she will start singing this song. And this was uh, uh, my when I was like five, six, and seven years old. And once she starts singing that song, I'll stop because I really, I believe that, and I trusted the, the words that, you know, uh, uh, that was coming out of uh, her mouth. So every time, don't want to or my mama and call for me. Oh, love, bye. Taluba, mi loma, we o. A de de ku de ku o. I yare, loba, we o. A de de ku de ku o. So once uh, I know that. Uh, it's the mother that gave birth to me that basically uh, uh, gave the punishment. I always feel okay. And I go back to her, I hug her, and I feel that motherly love again. Thank you. Thank you.